excuse my weird armband things, I'm in the middle of sets here. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. I went out with one of my buddies the other day and we were talking on our way up to go do some patrolling Minuteman cool guy stuff. And on the way up there we were talking about teammates and, and what makes an ideal teammate, who's the guy that we want to be, who's the guy that we want on our team, etc. And my buddy said something that I thought was pretty succinct, pretty profound, and I thought I would share it with you. He said, you know, the more and more, uh, just in work, in life, on teammate stuff in general, I just want someone who's going to be low maintenance. And I thought that phrase, low maintenance, was pretty good, right? He went on to say, you know, like in my, my normal everyday job, he's like, I'll take someone who's a medium performer but low maintenance over someone who's a high performer but high maintenance. And I really liked that. I, I thought that that low maintenance thing was a good idea. Like, you're going to show up, you're going to get in line with whatever program it is your team is trying to accomplish for the common good of the whole team. You're going to do your job well, as well as you can do it. And that's it. You're not going to complain. You're not going to grumble. You're not going to say, oh, we have to practice that today. Oh, we have to do that. You're not going to be a whiner, a complainer. You're not going to be a diva who thinks that he is a special person who needs a special job. And that job's, you know, it's a little under my skill level, under my pay grade. It's too, too pathetic for me, too plebeian, you know, that, that kind of thing. If you've been an adult for any time, amount of time, you've certainly met high maintenance people, right? And if you haven't met any high maintenance people, that might mean you are the man. So as I was thinking about this, I was just thinking, I really like that term, low maintenance, right? I think that's a great place to want to be. You should be a low maintenance teammate. You're here to do a job, right? You're here to help train your boys, help your boys get better, help you get better. You're gonna show up, you're gonna have your kit squared away, you know, you're not gonna have all your batteries and your lights dead and you're going out on a night patrol or whatever. Or, you know, you're, you're, you're gonna be low maintenance. Your kit squared away, you worked on it beforehand, you showed up, you're prepared. You're here to do your job and someone's like, hey, I need you to pull security over here. You're like, yeah, sure, no problem, right? You're, you're, there's a chill kind of go with the flow aspect to being low maintenance. Now I say all that, and I'm not really quite sure how low maintenance I am uh, because I have lots of strong opinions about things, which, you know, that's why I have a YouTube channel. So I think that being low maintenance is something for us all to aspire to, right? You want your boys to be low maintenance. You want to be low maintenance. There's enough friction in training for Minuteman type stuff, right? There's enough stress we all have in our own lives. We don't need to cause that to one another by being high maintenance and having particularities and peculiarities and things that you need to fight over these little, you know, things like, oh, you, you carry a 45 and every time you need to make fun, fun of someone about that because they have a 45 and you have a nine millimeter, which is proper, right? Like, is that a battle you really want to pick? Is that the kind of friction you really need to create in a team? Now, obviously, I'm not saying don't razz your boys. That's obviously a very important part of male bonding. But what I am saying is don't cause that friction, right? Don't be a person who's gonna be a high maintenance diva who thinks they're special, who needs this particular, well, I don't have my left knee pad on today, so I can, you know what I mean? Like, don't be this kind of person. Be a low maintenance contributing teammate. That's what we all wanna to aspire to, that's who we wanna be. If you're curious about more about what kind of teammates you should have, I do have another book coming out in the next couple of weeks, and so you'll be able to get it and read about it in there. Hope that's helpful, hope that gives you something to think about. Be low maintenance, boys. We don't need high maintenance divas, we have enough problems. Do brave deeds and endure.